Hello, this is Solar Business TV from InterSolar Europe 2018. And uh, we are together with uh, the founder of Londi Solar. So first of all, uh, Mr. Lee, I would like to congratulate you one thing, that you finally finished Larry Solar and that you introduced the brand Longi. And it was a really good decision, so congratulations. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. And can you tell me why, I mean, finally you decided to keep one brand? As Longi, we have been the famous wafer, mono wafer company in the industry. So when we start to make module business, we were thinking about the feeling of our customers. But it turned out to be Longji is a brand we can bring the value to customers and uh, today we believe this is the right thing to do. Another question I would like to ask you about InterSolar because um, Longji had a big presence yes, at the show. So you organized a uh, big booth, also you were supporting our gala dinner, yes, Solar Future Today. And besides that also you were supporting the event of APVA. Yes. So how important is Europe for Longi? Uh, so actually solar is from Europe originally. So we love Europe. And also today we see with solar become cheap enough and solar become great parity, the demand in Europe is coming back again. So today we are preparing everything for Europe market because it's important for us in terms of capacity and also product offering. And uh, was it also the motivation after the uh, recent announcement of the Chinese government? And you are maybe afraid that Chinese market will not be anymore like in the past? Uh, we believe that policy change in China is not the real root cause of this situation change in market. We actually believe the solar industry needs the advanced technology, advanced capacity to replace the behind technology and the capacity. That's the real reason. We believe after this uh, adjustment time, we will see more better product offering, like more mono modules, more mono perk modules, and more mono perk modules, which will help the LCOE wise uh, greatly dramatically drop the uh, which is the cost. That will be the better thing after this period. So yeah, if you look back like 2012, when market was only 30 gigawatts demand, but supply was 45 gigawatts demand, everyone had a big concern that it's like 50% oversupply. But today, the market is about 100 gigawatts. And uh, if we, if all the new expansion online by uh, beginning of next year, probably supply side will be 150 gigawatts. So people become to worry about the future again. But we, we would like to emphasize if we look forward for the next three, five years, solar will grow to 300 gigawatt market, and today's demand as capacity will not be enough. So we believe in solar is still a strong growing business in the industry, and uh, because we believe solar plus any storage will be the ultimate solution of energy for human beings. In our solar future today, we speak not only about the energy, yes? We are speaking about the uh, disruption of the whole world paradigm, yes? Which will be the disruption in energy, disruption in mobility, but also disruption of society, yes? So during the next 10 years, we'll completely change the world and the society. And I would like to ask you, because you are the founder of the company and uh, you are, let's say, the brain, yes, behind Longi. How do you imagine the role of Longi in this whole change of the, you know, the whole transition of the world. How you would like to be the leader, but not only become the leader. How would, would you like to drive this transition? What you said is, is definitely correct. Solar is not just energy business. Solar actually can uh, help the Earth to, to be fixed from the damage we have made on the Earth for the last hundred years. We can change the ecosystem on the Earth. We will explain later in detail.
So when solar and energy storage become cheap enough, we also we can do mass scale desalination in Middle East. So we change the seawater to to fresh water. We can see for the last hundred years, people have been fighting for energy, even for the channel to transport the energy. But with solar become adopted as a mainstream energy source, we don't need war anymore. As you know, like in our solar future today. We defined our goal like the, the world 100, yes, 100 renewable energy, 100 electrical mobility, 100 smart energy, smart energy houses, smart energy cities, smart energy villages, 100% of people with access to education, 100% of the world without war, yes. So actually, I think we are blessed that we can help to really change the whole world, yes? To make the first step, we just needed business community, government. But now we need to consider three layers of society. Yeah? Society, business, influencer. Politicians, financial, public opinion influencers. So it's in the DNA and strategy of you and uh, Longi just to work with the business, with the customer, or also you have some think in mind in order to work on all the layers of society. Yes, uh, one thing we have been doing is by improving technology and reduce the cost. We contribute to the solar industry. For instance, 10 years ago, we were selling wafer $13 per piece. Today, our wafer is less than 50 cents per piece. This helps the industry grow from several gigawatts to today 100 gigawatts scale. And uh, during this process, we also adopt this green manufacturing philosophy. That's why since 2015, we are moving our manufacturing base to Yunnan province, which is 100% renewable energy province, and also Malaysia. So today, we're using clean energy to make clean energy products. You become green first by yourself, yeah? Yes, yes. Uh, and since we believe solar and energy storage will be the cheapest energy supply on the earth, we believe within five years we will pursue, we will achieve solar for solar concept, meaning all the modules we are going to make will be energized from solar. On one hand, we are competitors, yes? Everybody is competing, so everybody would like to be the leader of the market, yes? But as we are at the beginning of the growth, I believe that the increase of the market will be so big that we still need cooperation between the companies in order to supply the market. Are you ready, like a founder of the company, also like a personally, like Mr. Lee, also to cooperate, even with your competitors. Is it possible for you? This is, is it also your philosophy, or you just focus on your company and you don't care about others? The answer is yes. Uh, we can give you one example. Like two years ago, we were having a meeting with, from the financial industry, and the mistake was asked, because you were a wafer company, and now you are making modules, so you are competing with your customers. So Mr. Lee just took off one cell phone, which is Apple phone, and told the, the customers that actually in the cell phone industry, Samsung and Apple are two biggest competitors. But within Apple phone, there are a lot of components are made by Samsung. As long as we can bring the real value to the industry, we believe the cooperation and the competition can coexist. So to answer your question, yes, this industry needs a lot of cooperation. So first you were like a manufacturer for wafers, yes? You had Longi brand, then you invented Ready brand, etc. But now you understood that it's so important, the strength of one brand, yes? And you also understood that solar is only one of the parts of the whole transition, yeah? So I imagine that uh, you are thinking already in the future maybe to have uh, Longi battery storage, a Longi smart solution for family, maybe Longi electric car, maybe Longi family solution with car, with storage, with batteries, etc. Can you just, you know, tell me, is it also something that you have in mind? Yes, 
Today we are thinking about this, but we have not put too much effort and resource on those ideas because we believe solar still have great potential to grow, even up to 1,000 gigawatts per year. So we are working along the, the, the mainstream value chain from wafer, ingot wafer to cell modules. We still have a lot of things to improve. And last question, because we are speaking about the future, but I would like to learn a bit about your history. So how did you start, you know, solar business? What was, you know, your motivation? Uh, Mr. Lee learned semiconductor material in the school, and after he graduated from school, his first job was to pull mono ingot. So his whole career life has been dedicated to mono, and uh, he believes for the long future, he still will focus on mono. So this is your last job, yes? Yeah. yeah, my first job and my last job. Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, last thing I would like to ask you, let's make everybody thumbs up for solar.